so let's take a look at sql local db so local db is an uh, instance which is basically part of sql server express but if you have developer edition or enterprise or professional you automatically get it installed along with it and if you have express edition you will have to manually install that particular instance so in my case i already have it through Visual studio 22 and also through the sql server 2019 so if you want to install that particular local db what you can do is you can simply download the visual studio installer and where you have to check for your payload specific to data right so let it download that okay so if you are downloading that database specific payload it will download this local db so i will show you by searching through it so let this installer finish its processing so that we can get to that actual window now let me close this particular update specific window so in order to check for what i have installed so far here you can see i have community edition installed and i can also have this particular build tools right let's go back to now if you have Visual studio already installed you can go to modify it should open the modify section for you and there you will find that you have this option for let's say data storage and processing right you can also check for specific component through typing into this text box right here you see sql server express 2019 local db so i do have that installed similarly you can also check the data sources for sql server support okay just in case if you wish to install that so now that you already have this local db installed due to your sql server be it developer or enterprise or even express edition you can now close this particular installer and next thing you can let's say open powershell or let's say terminal or command prompt right now here we will first check if we have sql local db hit enter and here you see once we type in it will give us a list of everything that's available so let me clear this and let's type in sql local db then dash and then question mark right so here you see it will print the same information that we have available here now next thing is typing in sql local db and then info and it will tell you the ms sql local db that is available for you so if you're able to run this that means you have sql local db available now the another thing that we can do is we can create the instance for this particular local db so we will type in sql local db then create and within double quotes let's say i type in my local db as one of the instance right so here you see okay so the mistake was i have to type in sql local db then create then my local db now hit enter and here you see it will take time to create the instance now once we create the instance we can see that it will also tell you about the version number here local db instance right so if i type in sql local db then let's say i and then my local db right and if i hit enter it should give you information about local db right so here you see my local db is one of the instance 
its respective version owner basically it will tell me the computer name right so this is computer name and then my username auto created no so it was manually created state is stop so i will have to manually turn it on right then last start time it will tell you that then instance pipe name which will remain blank just like its share name right now if i want to start this i can type in sql local db then let's say start my local db right and here you see um, local db instance my local db is now started now what we can do is we can also access this through sql server management studio right and to do that i can open that and here i already have one of the account open so i will have to go to object explorer and then click on connect object explorer and here you see uh, my current server name needs to change right and i have to type in within bracket local db right then forward slash and then my local db keep the windows authentication as is or if you have assigned any particular user for accessing this particular instance you can give it access then click connect and as you can see it has connected to that particular instance and it will show you the available version and also the instance name which is mylocodb now if you check this database section you will find that it has system database right currently there should be no snapshots right so you have master model msdb and temp tb now let's say if i want to create a new database so let's click on this new database and let's see what it wants us to create here here you see if i want to create something like mydb it will reflect in its logical name and its log file name right simply click ok once we create the database within this instance i can right click on the database and then i can create a new table right through azure data studio right or even by using the tools within sql server management studio as well right we can let's say create a new query and let's see here we will have to first say use mydb then we type in go and then we can give command like create table then we have to give it a table name then add respective columns and then we can go ahead and add the data and work like we normally do right so let's see what we have available so far within tables we don't have any so we will right click and create new table which is also through this tool so if you don't want to use the commands you can simply go through this particular route right so let's say if i create id then we choose its data type integer then we don't want to allow nulls right and if i want to let's say make it primary key i can set it right then let's say name so id name so let's have it as marker 50 let's not allow nulls anywhere then name and phone again let's have some marker here 50 right and let's try and add few items right and once you're done you can 
save this right and that should create the database table now we have seen how to use local db instance we managed to connect to it we create a database and we can also go on length with creating tables managing data right so let's say if i want to disconnect i can simply right click on this particular instance click disconnect right so we can just close this right and minimize and come back here now within this particular uh, command prompt or powershell or terminal we can simply stop this instance by typing in sql local db then stop then my local db right it should stop the instance that we just created now if i want to get rid of this particular instance i can type in sql local db and then delete and my local db and as you can see it will instantly delete that instance as well now this is going to help you when you want to let's say try out some of the uh, small changes that you don't want to do on your final server changes or let's say you want to deploy some of the test data then in such case you can make use of local db right so a lot of people or developers who make use of express edition uh, use sql local db and its command line and management studio option to connect and manipulate the data